Hello, Space Ultra viewers. We are back to you with an update on NASA's Mars Ingenuity helicopter. Since Ingenuity's historic first flight on April 19, where it hovered about 10 feet, or 3 meters above the Martian surface for 30 seconds, NASA have been progressively stretching the capabilities of the helicopter by flying farther, faster, and more aggressively. Ingenuity has flown at altitudes up to 33 feet or 10 meters, and ground speeds up to 13 feet or 4 meters a second. It covered a distance of 873 feet, or 266 meters on Flight 4, and stayed in the air for 139.9 seconds on Flight 6. It has navigated between five different airfields, three of which were identified based on satellite imagery only. It has even survived an in-flight anomaly, while still landing within about 16 feet or 5 meters of its intended target. In doing all of those things, Ingenuity has already exceeded NASA's expectations. But on Flight 9, NASA are taking things to a new level, with a high-speed flight across unfriendly terrain, which will take them far away from the rover. Perseverance is currently at the eastern edge of a scientifically interesting region called CETA, which is characterized by sandy ripples. That could be very challenging terrain for wheeled vehicles like the rover. Ingenuity's last two flights have been designed to keep up with the rover on this journey. Rather than continuing to skip ahead of the rover, however, NASA will now attempt to do something that only an aerial vehicle at Mars could accomplish. Take a shortcut straight across a portion of the CETA region and land on a plane to the south. On the way, NASA planned to take color aerial images of the rocks and ripples that Ingenuity pass over. Ingenuity will be instructed to fly 2,051 feet, or 625 meters, at 5 meters or 16 feet per second, and remain airborne for approximately 167 seconds. This max effort will also challenge Ingenuity's navigation algorithm in a fundamentally new way, this onboard algorithm which lets Ingenuity determine where it is along the flight path was designed for a comparatively simple technology demonstration over flat terrain and does not have the design features to accommodate high slopes and undulations that are to be found in CETA. A successful flight would be a powerful demonstration of the capability that an aerial vehicle and only an aerial vehicle can bring to bear in the context of Mars exploration, traveling quickly across otherwise untraversable terrain while scouting for interesting science targets. A successful Flight 9 will also provide the rover science team with close-up images of the sea to terrain that they will otherwise be unable to acquire. Flight 9 is expected to occur no earlier than late the night of Sunday, July 4th, with data coming down in the following days. Stay tuned to see how Ingenuity handles its biggest challenge yet. That's all about the NASA's Mars Ingenuity helicopter update. Hope you all loved it. Please like and share the video. Please subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thank you for watching.